Jetson is a software defined platform. We keep improving the compute libraries and other software components to bring new capabilities and to accelerate your applications which are already written. If you see our benchmarking that we post regularly, you will see that we have continuously sped up the models with new Jetpack releases. And this is what drives our customers to move to the latest Jetpack release. To allow our customers to do over-the-air updates for their Jetsons deployed in the field, we added support for image-based over-the-air updates and released it with Jetpack 4.6 this time. Image-based over-the-air update feature is not an end-to-end -end OTA solution by itself, but it provides you with the tools and frameworks for one to implement end-to-end -end custom OTA solution easily. With these OTA tools, customers who are on older releases, even as old as Jetpack 3.2.1 or L40 28.2, can move to newer Jetpack releases easily. One of the hiccups during an upgrade was of the partition layout changes that we had to do when we moved Jetpack releases a couple of times. The OTA tools we release automatically under the hood takes care of such partition layout changes during the upgrade. You can upgrade the whole system, including the entire bootloader, kernel, and root file system, or upgrade a single partition using the OTA tools. We provide the tools for, two, for doing two things. One, tools to create OTA payloads on a host machine, depending on which version of L40 you are upgrading to. And second, tools which run on Jetson, which apply the OTA payloads once downloaded from the OTA server, and which performs the actual upgrade. So the user flow is as follows. You will generate the OTA payloads using the OTA tools that runs on the host. Then once the OTA payloads are generated, you will host those OTA payloads on an OTA server. And then you'll write an OTA client which runs on Jetson, which downloads these OTA payloads and then triggers the OTA using the OTA tools that we provide, which runs on Jetson. The OTA tools, uh, which runs on Jetson, when it gets triggered, it will reboot to a recovery kernel. And this is assuming that there is no AB root FS enabled. We will cover the AB root FS in the upcoming slide. But for this user flow, let's assume that there is no AB root FS enabled. So if there is no AB root FS enabled, once the OTA is triggered, the tool will reboot the Jetson into a recovery kernel. And in the recovery kernel, it will extract and perf uh, extract the OTA payloads that was downloaded from the OTA server and perform the update partition by partition. And if everything goes well, it will then reboot into an updated software. But suppose if something wrong happens, suppose like for example, uh, Jetson loses its power during uh, the update, then we have a mechanism there which retries and re reboots the recovery kernel again and tries to perform the update again. And this is this retry is done maximum n number of times, which is configurable. And for some reason, if all the tries retries fail, then the Jetson will be put into a rebooted into a command prompt in a recovery kernel, so that one can do a remote login to that Jetson and manage that Jetson. Uh, 